Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? Well, here it is, the absolute last video in the series from concept to cutting edge where I'm taking you through the step-by-step -step process that I follow when making a knife. Um, again, as I've said in all my other videos, this is just my process. I'm not saying it's the only way or the best way. This is just the process that I'm following. Um, well, in the last video, we got the handles installed and I showed you what it took to get that done. And really all that's net, all that's left is doing the final shaping on the handle, getting it looking exactly the way you want it to look and feel while it's in your hands. In order to minimize the amount of noise and stuff that, that we're going to deal with in the shop, I want to take a quick second and walk you through the process. Kind of let you know what to expect when we go down into the shop. Essentially the things that I do when I go down there is I try to get this shaped as close as possible using the belt sander. And I use the belt sander simply because it's the quickest and most efficient way of getting rid of a lot of this excess waste. I, again, I want to get it close, but I don't want to get it all the way to where it needs to be. Personally, I find it best when I do a little bit of, uh, of work with my hands using my hand tools for that last little bit. I'll get it close. I'll get it really, really close when I'm up there on the belt sander holding it up there. I, I want to try to get it as close as I can. I uh, don't want to see a lot of sparks fly. The second I see some sparks flying, I'm ready to move on to another location. Uh, I really want to get it perfect. When we're down in the shop, you're going to see me start off. I'm going to get rid of these uh, of the bolt heads right here. I'm going to flatten it down where the lanyard tube is. Same thing on this side. I want to get this as flat as humanly possible. Simply because uh, when I get it flat and I lay it down, it's going to help me to maneuver it and... and and roll it. I find that by holding it like this, I can get that 90 degree, uh, 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 excuse me, get that 90 degrees to the spine, which is what I'm looking for. And again, once that's done, I'm going to kind of soften the edges up right here a little bit, do a little uh, angle grinding like that. Once that's done, uh, I'll go on over to the belts, or I'm sorry, I'll go on over to the uh, hand, do a little hand sanding. Uh, sometimes I, I taper the edges thinner to wider, sometimes I don't. Really, it just all depends on how I feel about feel about the knife when I'm doing it at the moment. Sometimes I want to go a little bit thinner, sometimes I like it heavier. Um, one of the things that I like to do when I'm making my knives is that most of my clients are into bushcraft, into the outdoors, and into camping. And I find that sometimes when you make the handle scales too thin, uh, it can be frustrating to the user. Some of the guys that I make knives for are not afraid to grab a little bit of sandpaper and, and shape the handles to fit their specific needs. And unfortunately, if I take too much off, there's nothing for them to do. You can, you can take it off easy enough, you just can't put it back. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and get this as close as I can to final dimensions and uh, get it shaped in, get it perfect, and when we come back you'll see uh, the finished product and we'll start talking about fit and finish. A little sneak peek at the destruction. All this will be gone soon and I'll have something pretty cool to show you before we enter.
Well, guys, we're finished. Um, I took the rest of the afternoon and hit the belt sander, got the handle pretty much where I wanted it. Uh, you know, you're talking 95% of the way there on the belt sander. Uh, that last 5%, I always like to work by hand. Uh, I might have to use a rasp or uh, sandpaper or scuff pad, whatever it takes to get it exactly right. And I really can't stress to you enough um, how important it is to take the time to really go through the knife at that stage. That's really where the rubber meets the road. That's the end of the game. That is when you're done. When this handle is finished, essentially, your knife is ready to go. Um, and I took some time, worked it by hand, and got it, you know, was really happy with the finish, and uh, really got it to the point that I'm completely satisfied with it. Went ahead and threw a lanyard on here. Kind of got a new sheath out there as well, which I'll talk about in a separate video. But for all intensive purposes, we are done. The knife is complete. It's finished. The only thing left to do to this knife at this point, which I'm not going to sit there and bore you with, is going through and making sure the edge is nice and sharp, that it's exactly what you want it to be, the finish looks good, um, and everything is as it should be. I do want to share one little tip with you. Um, don't for any one second think that you've got it covered and you can just go ahead and do one thing really quick and not really focus and pay attention to the process and the steps. In doing this knife, I was working on the handle and I, and I got to this one spot that I just wasn't happy with. And I knew I was going to have to run down to the belt sander, hit it one more time and get it just perfect. Uh, you know, I had the knife all taken apart, tape was off, guard was off, and I said, you know what, I'll just be one second, how long could it take? I went down there and I hit it, and right there, lo and behold, a little nick in the blade right off the belt sander. So, you know, it, it's, it happens, what are you going to do, you can't... Uh, can't undo it. At the end of the day, it's something I'm going to have to deal with with this finished product. Um, probably have to price it accordingly. So, anyway, guys, uh, that's about it. I appreciate you sticking with me through this series. If you know, if you haven't seen all the other videos, definitely going to have a link down for you to check out uh, all the other videos and uh, walk you through the process.